Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We're going to take a look at the cards for awareness, for guidance, and for possible outcomes. I'll also pull a few oracle cards for additional information for the week. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Six of Wands, and we have the Major Arcana card, the Fool. So the Fool makes appearance uh, again this week. So with the Ten of Pentacles, you know, we are dealing with matters of the family, and we're dealing with uh, the resources, and perhaps the finances, the money, and the investments of the family. There's a card here of legacy and you see the patriarch you see the couple the dog the kid and there's a sense here of doing what you need to do to establish the security and the stability and the foundation of your family and for your family and whether that includes grandparents extended family cousins uh, you're, you're looking toward the benefit of doing things for the benefit of the family. So your priorities might be to review, uh, you know, the will, medical power of attorney, to look at investments, to look at ways to save money for your child's uh, college education or other endeavors that they're pursuing, but there's a focus and a direction on the family and the resources, the money, and the time of surrounding the family and for the benefit of the family. So, you know, as you're working with your family, perhaps, as you're having these discussions, as you are making it a priority, here we have the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands, we see the writer walking in he's wearing a green wreath he's holding a wand with a green wreath and he's got some people behind watching this is a card of success this is a card of reaching your goals of um, making progress good progress and you are feeling proud about your achievements you are feeling that you may be getting recognized so if this is a six of wands that relates uh, to your work, this could, ex could mean that you're going to get a bonus or maybe you get a, uh, a raise or a promotion. Or you might get a nice letter from your boss or a pat on the back. Job well done. Behind this, there's a sense that you've shown some discipline and that you have uh, taking care of the steps and the things that you've needed to do in order to become successful, in order to become uh, or to realize this achievement. And achievements don't always have to be huge, overriding, year-long things that you're working on. They could be short and sweet goals that you've uh, put down and that you hope to achieve and hope to accomplish. So this rider is looking in the direction of the family. So there's a sense of perhaps that things are going well. If you are uh, trying to save money, if you are trying to, again, enhance the stability of your family, it seems to be working and working well. So with this sense of success and the focus on family, finances, investments, resources, the, the love and care of the family. Here we have the fool. And again, the fool represents this opportunity for you. And it's an opportunity after you've had self-reflection, after you've had a chance to think about where it is in the path that you're going to be walking. And so you may come to a place where it's you want to deviate from the known path and you're going to take a risk. You're going to take that leap of faith. And the leap of faith should satisfy you first, 
but as a result of you finding something that is making you feel excited about life, excited about what you do, bringing your passions to the forefront, you know, uh, if we think about this logically, a happier you makes you a more successful you. And the people in your family can see that, you know, there's a pep in your step when you're able to do the things and follow the path that you've been thinking about or hoping for. And the fool brings that potential and the feeling that, yes, I think I would like to try that. And I'm going to go ahead and throw my hat in the ring. So there's taking a leap of faith and then there's taking a dangerous risk. And again, it's unique to everyone and how you have to approach it and how you have to think about the impact on your loved ones and, and your family and the mortgage, etc. But the fool, you know, the, the dog is either really excited to go with or is saying, look out, be careful where you step. You may fall right off that cliff. And isn't that funny in life how we have that certain set of folks who were the first ones to say, what are, you, what are you doing that for? Why? That's silly. You know, or just they have to just drop a little bit of water on your hope or on your dream. So it's up to you to keep that flame inside for what the fool's going to bring, which is some carefree, fun, enjoyment, the, the potential of bringing joy and walking down a path that's going to bring more joy into your life. And uh, again, new cycles, new opportunities, new ways of thinking that are going to expand your heart and your light from a spiritual and uh, you know, individual perspective. So as you're, as you're dealing with successes, as you are shown here, and handling things that relate to the family, you know, you might be taking a risk in or, you know, taking a leap of faith and helping to ensure more stability. So let's take a look at the numbers for for the day. Okay, we have 10, 16, and that reduces to seven. Seven is about discovery. It's about the mind. It's about reflecting. Uh, it can be about uh, bringing your wisdom and your experience into play. And then finally, I'm going to choose an oracle card and we'll get a little more information. Breaking trail, a breakthrough is at hand. Breaking trail, so after a lot of work, a lot of perhaps grinding and discipline and, and sacrifice, breaking a trail, a, a, a breakthrough is at hand, is that ultimately you see the light in the distance. And so perhaps this is a breakthrough of your mindset, of the things of where you want to head in the future and that you realize that you might have to open it up a bit. You might have to take a leap of faith. And your leap of faith may require the support of your family, the blessing of a partner. And, uh, you know, it's, we, we see the effort here leading to the breakthrough. So I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already and like, share, comment, and then come back tomorrow for another reading. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.